Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us, well, from me. Uh, this is from Babbage's Dream, published by Sundress Publications in 2017. Um, I'm reading a poem about uh, last third of the collection. This is part of a series of poems which are inspired by the life and the challenges um, and really the sorrows of uh, Charles Babbage, 19th century mathematician who designed, partially built, but never finished what would have been the first computer. In this particular poem, I look at um, Charles Babbage's um, loss um, of a good friend, uh, Ada Lovelace, uh, who had been um, essentially his partner in this creative and, and inventive process um, for the last number of years. Um, she, they had first met when she was 17 and he in his 40s, um, and he had been surprised by her perception and insight into what he was doing, um, and later Ada became instrumental, uh, not just instrumental, chief. She, uh, she translated uh, an important review of the analytical machine, uh, analytical engine, uh, written by an Italian uh, mathematician, and it appended her own notes, which were four four or five times as long and as detailed um, that surpassed uh, a depth of uh, a comprehension and uh, transcended even Babbage's own imagination for the limits or the possibilities of what would have been the computer. Um, so Babbage felt her, her untimely premature death um, profoundly as a great missed opportunity as well as the loss of a good friend. Um, this poem is set in 1852, uh, shortly after her passing, and also in the shadow of the Great Exhibition, which had taken place in 1851, uh, which also features in the poem. Uh, oh, and I guess the other thing to note is that Babbage, among his other accomplishments, also invented uh, the occulting signaling uh, or occulting lights used by lighthouses and ships to signal um, their situations. Um, you know, back and forth, a, a complex but interesting signaling process, which uh, basically owe uh, their existence to Babbage as well. So this is Babbage sending messages to Ada, now gone, 1852. In the dim streets below, something dark eats away at the light, consuming the gas lamps on every corner, one by one, like a cancer till nothing is left but absence and your lone beacon set in this upper window, a clockwork curiosity you built last year to signal the masses thronging their ways home from the Crystal Palace and the Great Exhibition. The world gathered under a glass sky and a mechanical earth, a sea churning with countless eyes each turn to imagine future, and your staccato flare, a repeated message, a pulse of numbers, depths, wind changes, a code for passers-by to struggle through like a recurring cough through a worn body or the stubborn throb of pain below the belly that her doctors could not decipher except in long and short periods of blood and oblivion. This year you shine the light again, pointed above the invisible barrier that divides the living from the dead, and let your grief burn in all its stuttering failure. You close your eyes and the world is gone, forgotten, but her voice lingers in the turning of gears, a loose horse whinnying in the darkened streets, the oil-black clouds shuttling across the sky in some wild and unknown pattern. And that was Babbage sending messages to Ada, now gone, 1852. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you uh, have suggestions or ideas or comments, please comment below. Um, read the description for more information about this series, um, about where to purchase this book, um, or um, just in general, if you're interested in learning more about these projects. Um, I have new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, and if you'd like to hear more, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it helps keep it visible, <laughs> helps me know that this project is reaching a larger audience. Um, and in general, uh, 
you know, until next time, please stay safe, stay well, um, stay engaged in the work of language and poetry, um, find joy in what you're reading, find solace, too, um, as we move through uh, the, the closing months of this year, um, to do what we can to, uh, to ensure that the year ends well, um, that we find um, some measure of peace, as well as some hope and possibility. Um, and I think that's what we find in language. Even, um, even as we navigate grief, we can also find our way to some measure of reflection, um, some possibility for the future, um, and someplace else to go. So until then, and until next time, uh, goodbye, and we'll be back again soon.